You know, I got a comment the other day asking, Glendon, what percentage of your wealth is in the stock market in real estate? And I actually said I have 0% of my wealth in the stock market or real estate. And the question got me to thinking, one of the things that you guys have got to understand is that when you have a business, that's gonna get you more gains, more returns than virtually any investment unless you just hit some type of jackpot investment. And one of the things that I wanna do here at Hustlers Kung Fu is educate you on the power of a business because right now there's a lot of conversations that are going on about being an investor, buying real estate, and for me, I'm gonna speak for myself, none of those things compare to the financial gains I get from a business. A few months ago, I spent $200,000 on two cars. I upgraded my Porsche and I upgraded my SUV. And I had that money back within 30 days. Name one investment where you can get $200,000 in 30 days without a massive capital investment. Because I did some calculations. For you to get those kind of returns on stock, you would need about 10 to $15 million worth of stock. To get those type of returns on real estate, you would need about almost $20 million in real estate to get those same kind of returns. Cause see, th this is the thing that's throwing me because I know that I put out here on the YouTube, so I was gonna get into real estate cause I was drinking the Kool-Aid and I did some calculations. If I spent $430,000 on a house, I can expect monthly rent of 3,500 per month or close to $40,000 per year. So we're looking at almost 10 years for me to get my original investment and to start to get into profitability. Or I could take that same rental property and do Airbnb and bring that down to about four years. And I'm looking at, once again, I, I put it out here on the YouTube, so I was gonna start trading Forex. And I actually, during the Christmas break, I took some time to think about some stuff. And I'm like, why are you about to hustle backwards? Because, you know, I'm having enough time and attention keeping up with the corporate toolbox and it's just gonna be such a massive time suck to learn how to do Forex, to learn how to do all these other things. And I've, I'm just sitting here crunching the numbers because here's the thing, and this is one of the reasons that I'm showing receipts. As you saw in the beginning of this video, I pulled $10,000 cash out the bank. 99% of America cannot pull $10,000 cash out the bank. They can't do it. And because I have a business that gives me serious cash returns each and every month, I can pay cash for expensive cars, I can live in this million dollar house, and I can still have a lot of money in the bank because a business gives you good returns if you're running it properly. Let's make this, let's go ahead and put a few caveats there. First of all, you need to be managing your money. Number one. Number two, you need to be managing the business. Number three, you need to be managing the cash flow of the business and you need to stay out of debt or have your debt really, really low. So those are the parts of the things that I do because I virtually, I do have some debt right now. I got a PayPal loan, I got a Stripe loan, and I think I'm gonna get approved for the EDIL loan, which is going to be probably maybe 200K in loans. So that's gonna be really low because it's gonna be super manageable for me with my cash flow position and I'm just looking at it because essentially here's my plan. 
And I want you guys to hear me because most of the financial education advice on YouTube is made for normal people. I am not normal today. Like this is something I did. And once again, this is just me because I'm so used to using my credit card like a debit card. Uh, I spent like $10,000 on the corporate card and I wanted to pay it off. So I went to the bank, withdrew cash because I have a Wells Fargo corporate credit card. And if you pay them by check, it takes them seven to eight days for them to credit that money to your account, even though that check will clear the, that night. And I'm like, I wanted, you know, so the bank is literally five minutes away, both banks. So I went to Chase, I withdrew $10,000 and then I went and I deposited into my Wells Fargo account and paid off my credit card. Took me about 10 minutes. And I had a lot of people, why couldn't you do an electronic transfer? The electronic transfer could take up to two to three days. I wanted it done today. And that's one of the things that's missing from so many people is a sense of urgency of getting stuff done. It's like, oh, I'll transfer, I'll pay it whenever. This is one of the things, and this is where I, I'm weird like that. I'm weird like that. When I want something done, I want it done. I don't want to wait. And this has been my life for many, many years where I can just get stuff done the way that I want it done. And you know, when I was uh, at Wells Fargo, the, the teller was like, why'd you name your business disruptive? You don't seem disruptive. I said, you don't know me very well. See, I am not normal. I am not happy with going out, getting a mortgage of 1500 bucks, putting a renter in there and maybe cash flowing at 200 to 300 dollars. That doesn't excite me, man. I make more than that selling one course. One. I'll make more cash flow than someone who's going out and quote leverage their credit score and put five or ten thousand dollars down bought this piece of real estate put a renter in there and they're going to cash flow to the tune of two or three hundred bucks a month that's not exciting to me that, that's just like uh no i'm not going to do that i'm not going to do that so what i am probably going to do is sit on my money I know savers are losers. Having cash in the bank is, is bad. You need to put that money to work. You need to be some buying some stocks. You need to be, wait a minute. I just spent $200,000 cash on some cars. I just showed you guys a receipt of $50,000 in my personal checking account, not my corporate account, that I paid myself this year. If I wanted to go out and buy a Lambo tomorrow, I could do it. If I wanted to, sit down and do nothing for the next three or four years. I could do it. Why? Because I have a business, not investments. My investment is into my business. And one of the things that uh, I thought about during the Christmas break, which was really good that I took some time off, is I sat around and I thought about the next 10 years. And I can do this for the next 10 years. I am 54 years old and I can do this until I'm 64. And Part of this is I don't have these fantasies of quitting my job and going to sit down and doing nothing. I, I don't have those. I enjoy what I do. For the last 20 years, I have waken up and gone to work and did something that I wanted to do. And that's one of the things that many of you guys are missing because you're miserable. Your life sucks. You have a job that you hate you're actually out here just surviving. You don't have no money. You're not driving the car you want. You're not living in the house you want. You're not eating like you want. And each day is a struggle. And you see me and you kind of think that we're on the same, we're not on the same level. We're not on the same level. I did some research. 25% of America has $25,000 cash in the bank or more. 25% of America. That means, but the other 75% of America is literally two to four paychecks away from 
financial calamity because they have no money saved, they have no investments, they have no business. And you know, the personal finance marketing the department is buy index funds or ETFs and get rich slow. And that's something you should be doing better than doing nothing. If that's an option, do it. But once again, don't look at me and go, there is no rich person template. Well, if you're rich, you're gonna have 30% in your real estate, you're gonna have X amount of stocks. I have friends who don't own one single stock who are multi-millionaires because they own a business. I have friends who don't own stock, I have friends who don't own rental property, but they own businesses that provide ample cash flow for them to live in multi-million dollar houses, to take 12 vacations a year, to send their kids to private school because they have a business. And you guys are not getting it because one of the things, and this is a lie, uh, I had a friend on Facebook who did a post and he said, there are very few people who become fantastically rich through investments, but there are many business owners who do because he is a business owner. He's an investor and he's a business owner. He's doing all kinds of stuff. But one of the reasons that I am talking to you guys and having this conversation with you is 2021, I'm gonna be focused because this is one of the things I've learned from 20 years in business. When you lose focus, you lose money. And I was starting to lose you know, money because I wanted to be sexy. I wanted to talk about Forex and I wanted to you know, get that clout and that attention. And once I sat down and spent a little time to myself and like, dude, that's stupid. You got something that most folks would kill for and you about to mess it up chasing after some attention. I'm human, I wanted some attention. And I was like, you know what? So I sat down and thought that I'm going to change how I do the videos. I'm going to change everything up and I'm gonna focus on Savage Finance. Uh, this channel has finally crossed over 100,000 subscribers. If you notice, the videos are starting to get a few more views and I'm gonna focus on my business because whether you know I had investments or not, I'm gonna have a nice retirement. And th this is something else too because when I was looking at the returns on real estate and returns on the stock, that is just too slow for me. You know, if that's good enough for you, you're happy, you're making money, God bless you. But I don't wanna take two to $4 million and then let's see, uh, cause I, I calculated it. If I took, that would get me, four million would get me eight houses, and at 3,500, seven times um, four would be $28,000 a month. So my four million would be earning me $28,000 a month. Let me tell you something. I'm working on something and you're gonna start to see some of these ads. I can spend a million dollars on YouTube ads and make 10 million or I could take 4 million over here and make 28,000 per month. Or I could take a million and make 10 million. What do you think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the million and make 10 million. Cause uh, I'm getting ready, to, you know, cause right now I'm testing some ads. Uh, so far it's kind of like doo doo. Cause uh, essentially I'm getting people to watch the ad. I'm getting people to the webinar and I've had like two conversions, so that's kind of doo-doo-ish. So I gotta work on that. So I'm giving myself two months to work that out. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna be buying, you know, Wall Street bets, GameStop. I'm not doing all that. Cause essentially I'm in a really good position and I don't have to do that. I don't have to play those games because right now I've got almost seven figures in the corporate bank account. I'm probably gonna have 100K in my personal account next month once I get paid. And I'm sitting pretty nice. And I'm just sitting there like, you know, a lot of this stuff is designed for the common man. 
And I am not even common. I am not even close to common. I am so abnormal. I am so different. I am so strange because, you know, uh, there were people who were saying, you know, when I went to pay the credit card, there are many people who wouldn't have did that because they would have took the easy, convenient way. Whereas I have no problem with working. Like I got in my car, I went to the, I wrote a check out to myself and I put it up in the QuickBooks as a credit card payment. And you know, 15 minutes I was done. But many people are looking for ease, convenience. I don't look for that. I look for what's effective, what can I get it done? How can I get it done? And so this year, I'm probably not going to get in the stock market. I am probably not going to get into real estate this year. So essentially, I'm going to work on making my business perform better. That's what my goal. I'm going to that's going to be my singletary focus, working on my business to make it better because I mean to accomplish what I've accomplished in I just started building a team. I did this mostly without a team. And I'm like, once I get me a team together, once I get these ads together, I'm going to go from, you know, six figures a month to seven figures a month. And then let's go ahead and talk about this. Like, let's say this year I work on getting my business together and next year I have a $10 million year. At that point, I will probably buy an apartment complex because this is because the bigger money can get me something that can get me a better return on investments. I'm not happy buying a rental house and sinking this kind of money into a rental. And I mean, frankly, like I said, I'm not trying to piss on your parade, but for me to leverage that kind of money for such a small return, it don't turn me on. It just doesn't turn me on. I, I see these videos. It's like I'm cash flowing. Like there's this one guy. Uh, he's got all of this real estate, but he only cash flows at 17,000 a month. But his bills are because his his cat his revenue is like 90,000 that comes in. But because he has all these mortgages, he only gets to take 17. I made more than that in a week doing what I'm doing. And I'm like, you know, 30 years when the property's paid off, okay, that that could be cool. But right now, it ain't, it ain't turning me on. And once again, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I thank you guys for the support. I thank you guys who are rolled in the corporate toolbox. But when you leave a comment, don't think that I'm like you. And I'm not trying to be dismissive or insulting because I'm not like you. I'm not even close to being like you. I don't think like you. I don't act like you. I don't do what you do. I'm, I'm as someone said, I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. You know, these receipts are real. The Porsche is real. The, the ATM receipts are real. This is real. This is my real life. My real life for many people is a fantasy especially when we start getting with the Craigslist protocols and that's a whole nother story. So I'm not going to be distracted and to start doing all of this stuff because there are many people, uh, they're doing trucking, they're doing real estate, they're doing options. And I guarantee you, I make more money than they do. And they're doing all of this stuff. You wanna know why I make more money than they do? Because I am focused and they're not because you know it sounds good it sounds sexy i'm over here i'm over here i'm doing this i got money coming in this i guarantee you if you sit down and focus and go hard on one thing you'll make more money than you know what to do with that's that's my life because um i'm not getting into the real estate and i'm not because one of the things is um trends are really big on youtube and uh, there's one dude who's doing live streams on the Wall Street Bets and the GME and his channel literally grew 50,000 subscribers in two weeks. And I'm not going to be distracted by that because sticking to my purpose, 
sticking to my business plan, sticking to my 10 year plan. How many of you have a 10 year plan? Many of you don't even have a plan for next month, let alone a five or 10 year plan. I got a 10 year plan. My plan is to duplicate on a smaller level Dave Ramsey because I've looked at Dave Ramsey's business model. I've torn it apart. And the thing is that what's made Dave Ramsey great is he was consistent and focused. Every day, there's someone on YouTube making a video. I disagree with Dave Ramsey. This ain't gonna work. And Dave Ramsey is worth $55 million. And all these people who are making these videos, I disagree with Dave Ramsey. They ain't even worth six figures. They're not even worth six figures. There are many people who have learned and benefited from Dave Ramsey, and I plan on doing something similar over the next 10 years. I got books to write. This is why I don't have time for Forex. I got uh, things to get into. I got so many things I need to do. I got to build out the customer service team, and I'm going to focus on my business because Years ago, I was writing dirty books and throwing them on Amazon. I'm making like $10,000 a month. So I'm good at communicating. I'm good at creating. I'm good at being an, an, an inventor and a content creator and a course creator. Uh, someone asked me, is most of my money from courses? Yeah. Yeah, it is like 90%. And you know what? If you think creating and selling online courses is easy, go ahead try it <laughs> try it let's see how successful you are i'm a member of three course creation groups and 90 percent of the people in there are struggling they're struggling to sell a course i just launched my course and i had two sales they're struggling so if you think selling online courses is easy i'm not talking about scamming people and lying to people and putting up YouTube ads where people are opening up these envelopes with all this money in it. And essentially, like, I, I may buy that once I get some time. But that's my plan. I'm not, you know, I'm happy. You know, how many of you are happy? How many of you wake up when you, like, th this is the new routine. I don't wake up early. Like, I, I let that go. I wake up when I wake up, I work out, and then I start working on my projects and i love my life man i love it it is fun being me i get to do what i want i live how i want i think what i want i say what i want i communicate i got three youtube channels all making money life is good so once again for many of you there is no rich person template and uh there was someone who was like when I posted on Facebook with the 10,000, I know rich people, they don't show no cash. And my response was, you don't know enough rich people. I know a bunch of rich people and I see a lot of cash. I got friends. I have a friend, I went over to his house, he had 100K on the table. Cause he was getting ready to go buy uh, some kind of exotics uh, antique car and they were the, the guy was only gonna take cash. I mean, once again, I live in a million dollar neighborhood and I'm gonna do a video for Savage Finance, the rich people of Atlanta for Savage Finance version because this is the richest zip code in the Southeast outside of a few zip codes in Florida. Uh, Baka Flocka, Dr. J, Theo Radcliffe. I'm all, uh, what's this, Cordell Stewart. I ran into him at Chick-fil-A. This is, you know, I run into rich and famous people all the time in this neighborhood because it is a collection of wealth and talent. So once again, when you leave these comments, stop thinking of me like you and there is no rich person's template. And let's stop with the misinformation that investors make more money than business owners, because you don't. If you got $2 million breaking you off 4% which is only $80,000 a year, um, to me, that's not acceptable. You know, my retirement plan, I wanna retire with a million dollars a year retirement income. That's my 10 year plan. I wanna come out of this with 10, a million a year in retirement because I'm gonna I'm live in this, I'm gonna live, well, not this house, but I'm gonna live in a million dollar house 
I'm gonna drive fancy cars. I'm gonna eat steak. I'm gonna have a good life in retirement. I'm gonna be 90 years old driving the Porsche. It's like, you see that old man? He in that, damn, that's a new Porsche. I'm, I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna be that guy. That's who I'm gonna be. I've already decided and committed to that lifestyle. So my lifestyle is not going to go down when I retire, which who's to say whenever that will be because I enjoy what I do. But yeah, that's the plan. Do you have a five-year plan? Do you have a 10-year plan? you have a 15-year plan? Because if you don't, you need to sit down and create one because this global reset ain't gonna be playing with y'all. It ain't. So that's all I got to say. Hopefully you heard me. Hopefully you heard me. And I will see you guys in the next one.